See, someone like Bill Maher is that flower. Yeah. It looks beautiful. It expresses these ideas, but it has no connection to what actually brought it to that point. A man who says he's an atheist and more power to him, it's fine. Live, live how you want to live, I Man. guess. But my point is, with that ideology, what that results in is abject chaos and the dissolution of, of social order. So this man, Bill Maher, who will go on TV and say, but I believe in free speech, but I believe in these things. He doesn't understand that the root ideology for which he was raised in is Christian moral, uh, yeah. moral structure. Bill Maher has been saying some absolutely unhinged things recently. Bill Maher for a while had seemed like he was kind of going towards the right side because he sees, I think he sees the writing on the wall. I think he sees the pendulum swinging to the other direction. And I think he sees the money swinging to the other direction as well. So he wants to appeal to the conservative side. He wants to appeal to the right a lot more than he did previously because before he was very much all in on the left. But now I think he sees the money going to the other direction. So he wants to not alienate that audience as much as he was before but he's still saying some absolutely unhinged things recently even more unhinged than even before and tim pool is fed up with it he's fed up with people like bill maher like Whoopi goldberg and the rest of them and tim pool absolutely destroyed him on this episode of tim cast let's get into this clip here from tim cast irl of tim pool absolutely destroying bill maher and all of his woke talking points see someone like bill maher is that flower yeah it looks beautiful it expresses these ideas, but it has no connection to what actually brought it to that point. A man who says he's an atheist and more power to him, it's fine. L live how you want to live, I Man. guess. But my point is with that ideology, what that results in is abject chaos and the dissolution of, of social order. So this man, Bill Maher, who will go on TV and say, but I believe in free speech, but I believe in these things. He doesn't understand that the root ideology for which he was raised in is Christian moral uh, yeah. moral structure. Yeah. On, on that point, he went and did a interview with our friends at Trigonometry, and he was celebrating the fact that London is now minority English. And what he doesn't understand, and this is an outgrowth of liberal philosophy as well, is that you can't have civilization in amber. You can't have values and principles dislocated from the peoples that formulated them because they are the only ones who have enshrined those values in their hearts and minds. As Demaestra said, a constitution is just the codification of what the authors thought and you can't make people live according to those things if they don't believe what it was originally there and so all these principles that he advocates for free speech and license to not be judged for being a pot smoking degenerate <laughs> suddenly if you import millions of islam uh, islamic followers muslims into britain those values go away the constitution is changed and and so bill maher may well appeal to this but under the rubric of liberalism, he is doing what Renaud Camus called the second career of Adolf Hitler. And that is, in, in the name of making a nation after the Second World War, prove its anti-racist credentials and be open and free and tolerant to prevent the guard towers of Auschwitz from being reconstructed. He's actually imported the values of another country who doesn't believe in this and has the exact same thing happen all over again. If I can overly simplify that into a meme millennials would understand it's sideshow bob stepping on the rake and smacking himself yes. in the face over and over again and going <laughs> so there there are a couple of points there that i want to um just pick up on as well so first on the rational devils thing um what what i what i hate about this kind of view is uh the prejudice against irrationality and the privileging of rationality uh, and i'm sure you've all read jonathan height who pointed yeah. out well hang on a second you're actually not very rational for very much of your day what's the time you're not uh, there we go perfect i pulled up the moral foundations a while yeah, ago perfect jonathan, Jonathan, Height's Jonathan Height has proven look most of what you do is actually quite irrational quite habitual and it's only when you have to stop and think and deliberate very very carefully that you become rational for a small period of time so a society of rational devils would have to be rational quite a lot of the time and so this social contract only holds until some guy who might not be terribly intelligent decides you know what i don't care i'm i'm not going to be rational and i'm going to just attack that asian grandma or something because i'm sick of these asians in my neighborhood or something like that so the social contract breaks down like that instantly I've because they've got no they've got no love for one another. Love is what prevents that from happening, right? So that's that's the problem with the society of rational devils. Well, it only holds now the woke mind virus, I think is the biggest problem. It's the biggest enemy to this social contract that everybody has. They're trying to to get rid of the social contract completely. And they're trying to make everybody accepted, which it it just makes society a really bad place to exist in. They're trying to make it acceptable the, like it started off with, you know, and this, it was a slippery slope argument that everybody was trying to make back then, and everybody was shooting down as a slippery slope argument fallacy. But 
before it was like, oh, you know, gay, gay stuff should be accepted. Gay marriage should be legal, whatever. Okay, cool. That's fine. Now it's like, People who touch children should be accepted. It's like, hold on, that that that's way too much. Now it's like criminals shouldn't be prosecuted. They shouldn't be arrested unless they steal more than nine hundred and ninety nine dollars at a grocery store. If, as long as they stay under nine hundred ninety nine, they're good. It's like, hold on, that's a little bit wild, but it's it's what's happening. And now we're getting to this place where, like, no matter what you do, you're accepted. You're supposed to be accepted and not prosecuted and not punished. And that's a that's a wild society to live in. That's not a place that I want to live. It's a horrible place with no morals and, and no reason, no rationale, no order. We need all those things, you know? We need all those things to survive as a society, in my opinion. Maybe I'm the crazy one. I don't know. I feel like I'm not, though. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree? Do you, do, you, do you not feel bad about this? And they kept saying, yeah, well, we might get the girl pregnant, so it might be a worry. And he went, no, 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 no. Do you not, do you not, are you not concerned about the victim? And went, I think I've seen this, yeah. They, they, they might scream or they might give us AIDS. And he was no, like, but, no, 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 she's, she's not traumatized. It's just blank expressions. They don't. Yeah. They don't have the ability to understand that other people experience life. It's yeah. solipsism. Right. E empathy requires but it, but, a certain level of intelligence. Yes. But the funny thing is, like, it is regressive solipsism. It is, it is not someone who has sat down and had a conversation uh, on a philosophy and then come to the conclusion, nihilism and solipsism, therefore I'll do what I please. Yeah. It's people who can't even create, understand, or... Yeah. or Get anywhere near that idea. There, the the fundamental assumption that that all people are equal is probably the worst thing that or that people all experience the world not not equal that all people experience the world in the same way. One hundred percent is absolutely wrong, and it's incredibly detrimental to any society that adopts that as mm. the the no, the normal state of being and it's certainly the modern era the liberal era the way, where anyone thinks that in in every sort of pre-modern society they understand that no you come from a tribe another tribe is you know a separate people to you and they will behave differently and this is this is the that was the fundamental um assumption that got us into that got the united states and and, and england into the iraq war yeah, yeah, once we go in They'll they want will want to be like us. and democracy and yeah it's like are, they, are you mad They're and that that assumption cost millions of lives yeah 100%. and it changed you know it changed the middle east and caused terrible terrible repercussions throughout the whole yeah. the whole world and led as to the rise of isis yeah. led to unbelievable horrors and as much as people will say that oh well you know it was it was george bush or whatever it's like no that is, it wasn't George Bush, and it wasn't actually the argument that they might have nuclear material and stuff like that. Yeah, that was the ar yeah, exactly. That was the argument on the face. Yeah. But the real reason that people accepted it was, well, Americans accepted it was, we'll go in and they'll be better off once they're once we yeah. take Saddam out of power because they want to be free like us, yeah. and that is wrong. Yep. And as long as as long as I and history repeats itself and it repeats itself over and over and over again and that's why people are getting mad at the border crisis that's why people are saying we need to stop giving money to, to foreign countries and start fixing what's happening at our border because these people they come in and we expect them to start taking on our morals and our logic and our reasoning and they don't that's not how these things work they that's that's not how it works you know and like phil here is saying like tim pool is saying and like you know bill maher is going against that's that's what people are saying about these immigrants when they come in they're not going to adopt our morals and our principles they're not going to adopt our values they're going to keep their same values and some of them come from savage places you know and and that's not the kind of people that you want in your country and i don't think you should be you know i don't think you should be looked down upon for having that opinion i think that's just the truth different tribes have different morals and principles and values that's just how it works. That's how it's always worked since the beginning of time and history repeats itself. These people are not going to adopt our morals and, and values in one generation. Maybe they will three, four generations down the road, but in the present day, it's going to hurt us and, you know, very badly. It's going to hurt us, you know, and it's not even guaranteed that they will eventually adopt our, our, our values and everything. Let me know in the comments what you think about what Tim Pool and the rest of Tim Cast had to say about Bill Maher and people like Bill Maher just being such a detriment to society and toxic to American culture. Let me know in the comments what you think about this whole Tim Pool and Tim Cast situation.